I'm going to show you how to make a gold rubber. Um, a gold rubber is basically a piece of, um, well, as you can see, a sort of a um, flexible rubbery mass, which is used to lift gold leaf uh, after you've tooled a book. And um, those of you who are into um, gold tooling, I'm sure will be aware of it. Um, but you can't actually tend to get them uh, on online or from suppliers or anything it's really just a question of making them yourself i think uh, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of information about how to do that so um i'm going to show you how to do this and it's quite straightforward um, you start off with a crepe rubber uh, a crepe rubber is available from uh, uh, bookbinding suppliers and it's used often to help lift uh, glue and things like that from cloth bindings etc uh, a variety of uses but it, it's it's a it's quite hard actually it's quite a stiff uh, sort of open structure plasticky rubber um, and what you need to do is cut that up um, now this is the hardest part of the whole process because it's quite hard it's actually quite difficult to cut uh, and the best way I've found to do this is simply to do it a little bit at a time with a craft knife and just plug away at it and you need to cut it into very small pieces the smaller the better because it just makes it dissolve more rapidly a bit later on as you'll see so just go through the whole thing um, and just cut it into small pieces like that when you've done that um, you'll end up with a whole load of these pieces um, and just put them into a, a jar something that's got an airtight air, air lid uh, and what we're now going to do is um, put into that some paraffin now the paraffin that i've got is just standard paraffin for use in paraffin heaters um, nothing special just cheap from the hardware store um, unfortunately, as you can see, I could only find a rather large container of this, which is going to last me several lifetimes. I'll have to find something else to do with it, but it's not expensive. So um, we need some of that. Um, the amount that you need will depend on the size of the crepe rubber and so on. Um, I found for crepe rubber, a crepe rubber this size, uh, you, you need um, about 72 mil from experience. So I'm just going to pour some of this out and we can add some to the crepe rubber. So you can see I've put my, uh, using my pipette, I've um, put the paraffin into there, just make sure it's all mixed around and then I'm just going to seal it up and leave it. And leave that uh, overnight and we'll have a look at it again in the morning so it's now the following morning and um, this had 72 uh, milliliters of paraffin put into it and you can see that it's expanded um, and it's now all the liquid is, is, is basically gone it's been absorbed um, and it's a question now whether I need to put some more in now, I'm just looking at this it's sort of moist to the touch a bit sticky but it's not sort of holding together as a solid rubber um, when I press it it's not far off actually so I think I'm going to put in maybe another I don't know six mil of paraffin there we go now it always takes more than you think actually um but it's you know you can keep adding to it if you add a little bit too much at some point don't worry too much because you just leave it out in the open air and it will evaporate off a, a, after a, a while um so from now i'm just going to keep checking it if i need to i'll add a bit more um and we'll see how we go So we've now had this in here for let me see it will be about 10 days in total um, essentially what I've been doing over the past few days each day is going in I'm just prodding it a little bit just making sure that it uh, consolidates um, and just check what it feels like um, I would say it's still not entirely ready but let me show you what it's like because it's not far off now I'll just get it out of here 
so as you can see it's much more of a, of a single mass now uh, getting quite rubbery but it's it's also still a little bit too sticky you can see it's still a bit granular there so that's what I've been trying to do I've been trying to sort of push that together uh, I'm going to pop it back into there for now um, but essentially we're nearly there um, and what we're what I'm going to do is um, leave it in here because it's 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 a bit sticky I'm still going to prod it press it down get rid of the air holes and so on uh, between the granules uh, just make it a little bit more solid um, and do this continue to do this for a few more days uh, but I'm also going to now leave the lid open just just a little bit to let some of the uh, excess paraffin that may be in there evaporate um, and then um, hopefully uh, it won't be quite so sticky in a few days time so I'll come back when that's essentially finished and done but we're not that far off I think another day or two um, and it should be about there right so let's have a look where we've got to um, this has actually now been drying for some considerable time um, probably um, two or three weeks something like that um, <clears throat> I think the thing is I have uh, only in the past done half a crepe rubber when I've been making one of these and this was a full crepe rubber so I think it's taken longer to dry out uh, in fact it's still a little bit sticky uh, it needs to be sticky in order to, to lift the gold leaf so if there's a gold leaf on the on the spine you'd you'd lift it in this sort of way um, so you need to have a certain amount of stickiness but what you don't want is any residue um, either marking the lever or on your fingers for example um, so this is probably still a little bit too um, sticky so I'm going to leave this another day or two uh, and I'll just leave it sitting in the jar open like that so the paraffin can evaporate um, but essentially that is it um, I, I, clearly there are um, differences in that you will find in terms of time scales to uh, to prepare this that's partly due to the clearly the amount of crepe rubber that you use but also um, temperature and humidity and so on in the environment that, that you're uh, drying it out um, so that's basically it that's the uh, the formation of a crepe uh, a bigger part of a gold rubber um, so um, that's all you need you can I understand once you've used this for some time um, and it's got a lot of gold in there you can send it away and have the gold recovered uh, I think you need to uh, use it an awful lot for that to be worthwhile uh, but apparently you can do that uh, the other thing I would also say is that after some a uh, considerable period of time you may find that this becomes a bit too dry to use effectively uh, in which case uh, you can simply add a, a, just a drop or two drops of uh, paraffin uh, just roll it together manipulate it and um, it will absorb that paraffin and uh, be ready for use again uh, so you can rejuvenate it in that way but that is the, uh, the how you produce a, a gold rubber